Let's bring in Paul Sankey of Sankey Research to get his take on oil's move. I guess starting with yesterday, Paul, and what, what that told us. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you hit several of the major points right there, which is the consumer weakening. The major issue has been gasoline demand. The gasoline crack is absolutely cratered, uh, really remarkably. And, and that's telling you that Saudi pushed the oil price too high. So essentially, that's what's caused gasoline cracks to collapse. And additionally, as you mentioned, you've had very weak demand. So we're coming in. We've called the peak in U.S. gasoline demand here in 2019. What we're looking at here is very weak demand. You have a weak consumer, a strong dollar. There's a lot of things working hard against oil here. And that's, you know, why we're, why we're selling off so aggressively. Does OPEC respond again? Well, that's a major problem for OPEC because Saudi's now at 9 million barrels a day. It's already got 2 million barrels a day of spare capacity. Does Saudi go, actually, will force the, the market to stay higher by going down to 8 million barrels a day? They've done that in the past, but it's, it, the problem for them is they're losing a tremendous amount of market share. What the administration has done here is it's shifted from using the SPR to pressure prices to using geopolitics, to allowing Venezuelan exports, to allowing Iranian smuggling, to turning a blind eye to Russia. All of those things haven't really been appreciated by the market, I don't think, but essentially have allowed for much more oil supply from sanctioned nations. And where are we in the U.S.? I mean, are we right around 12 million a debt, something in there? Are we're we actually, expected to go higher? Or? We're, at, we're at record highs. I mean, yeah. as you know, the rig count is, is coming down. So that's unlikely to go a lot higher. But I would say that U.S. production has been very resilient, especially given the oil, uh, given the oil rig count has been down quite a bit. Paul, so the U.S. Sarah. is doing well. And by the way, the other thing that you've talked about is the dollar. And of course, with us now being huge oil exporters, even huger gas exporters, you've broken the relationship to the dollar. But we say that really nervously because, of course, now we see a strong dollar and suddenly oil's collapsing. And you're like, actually, maybe this is a major issue because, of course, in India, in Brazil, uh, in China, Dollar prices for oil are very, very high. Sure. Turkey. Sarah's I got mean, a question. It's, uh, no, my question is really just on the price action, Paul. I mean, you're talking about it like it's normal supply and demand type movers, but Brent crude oil was at 97, above 97 last week. We were talking right. about $100 a barrel oil, and now we're back down to 95. I mean, these are abnormally large and volatile moves, aren't they? What accounts they for that? They really are. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously it's a massive move. I mean, after 30 years covering oil, you know, I, I, I was around the last time we had a drop that big. But as he said, it's, it's, it's a good long while since we had that. Uh, I, you know, at this level, as you know, machines trade the market. I think it's very much a risk off move. Uh, the market just decides to dump. We thought maybe that uh, we, we could go higher on speculative interest. So the speculative interest before this run was very low. We got up to neutral levels of speculative interest, and our view was that our shot at 100 was that speculators would pile in. The problem is, as you know, risk off turned into risk off, and that became, uh, you know, the speculators running for the exits again. There's still a lot of things that can happen with oil. We don't know which way Putin's going to go. We don't know. Yes, this week we had an outage on a major Canadian pipeline that would have been significant. So you never quite know, especially not heading into winter. But the reality is that this gas, the single biggest element of the global oil market is U.S. gasoline. We consume not far off one in 10 barrels just in U.S. cars. When it's as weak as it came in yesterday and it had already been weak the week before, it becomes a major problem for the global oil market. So implications for retail gas prices here? Down. 330? Going down. I mean, there's no question about it. The wholesale gasoline price is a big part of the of the margin falling. Now, the wholesale price is not off as much as refining margins because obviously the crude price was forced up by Saudi. But you can see that now the refiners are going into turnaround season in a big way. So crude demand here is down a million barrels a day on lower refining utilization. And that's where Saudi has the problem. If we just look through wholesale gasoline prices, you will be seeing lower prices at the pump over the coming month, quite a lot lower.